Hi everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.4.1.3 Configure Initial Router Settings. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Introduction to Networks Version 6 curriculum. Now in this lab we will repeat many of the steps that we have already done uh, in previous labs to switches we will do today to a router and see how many of those same commands um, can be repeated here. So first we're going to uh, choose a console cable to make a, that out of band connection. Remember console cables can be used to uh, it's very realistic real life because we can't just click on a device right and click on a CLI and you see it's locked so you have to use the console but in, in real life we can't just like click on a router or a switch in a rack we have to use some type of cable to connect to it or we have to remote to it but remoting, remoting into it requires it to be already set up on the router to receive that um, usually using SSH hopefully not Telnet because Telnet is not secure um, but you know we have to be able to configure it from a PC with a keyboard and a screen that we can see so we use that console connection down here and we're gonna connect the RS-232 port to the console port this is also an out-of-band connection so you need no network connectivity as far as like internet or anything to be able to connect to it here okay so now we're gonna click on Well, it has you click on R1, select console. But we're going to click on the PC. Now we're going to go to desktop and it has you do terminal. That's how you access your console. Okay. Now we're going to type in enable or EN right here at that prompt. Uh, remember, we can usually do a show run here. They kind of show you what is, uh, you know, your your current running configurations. We don't have any startup configurations present um, because, again, we just started this this router up, so it is blank. It, we haven't saved any uh, configurations. You know how we usually do copy run start, which we'll do in a moment. You can even save it to a flash drive, which we'll see in a moment as well, or some type of external media. So first we're going to set R1 as the host name. Remember, we got to go to configuration mode first. We'll do host name R1. Okay, that configures our host name. Uh, the console password, remember we do line console or line con zero. Password, whatever we want it to be here, which would be let me in and then log in to force it to use it. Okay. Now we're going to set a privileged exec unencrypted, which means enable password of Cisco. So we'll do enable password Cisco. And then we're going to set a privileged exec mode password of it's a secret, but that's going to be encrypted. So we use enable secret. It's a secret. Now you may be wondering why set two passwords here. Um, and it's just to show you the commands are possible, enable password, enable secret. In a real life situation, you could probably get by with just using one, which would be your enable secret. So usually first, if we exit all the way back out, it's going to prompt us for a password. That's your line console password. You would use let me in. Then you go to uh, user exec mode, and then you're going to type in a password. To get the privileged exec mode, it's going to ask you another password. At that point, you would type in it's a secret. The enable secret password will override the enable password if you've got both of them set as we do here. It's going to use the encrypted one. It carries a little more weight if you want to call it that. Okay. Next, we're going to encrypt all passwords. So service password dash encryption. And remember, if you're as bad of a typer as I am, you can use the tab key to finish out if you've typed enough. And then we're going to set a banner or message of the day, which is banner MOTD. And in quotation marks, we'll put unauthorized access is strictly prohibited in our quotation marks. Okay. Now, again, if we do end, hit enter here, let's exit back one more time. It's going to ask us for a password. This is let me in. Okay, that's your console password. Next, we're going to do enable or en, and now it's going to ask us for our privileged exec mode password. Now we set two again here. If we do it's a secret, it's going to let us in. Okay, 
if we back back out one more time okay do enable and this time I'm going to type Cisco it will not let me in right you have to use it's a secret okay and then you can go into configuration mode from there you can also do your show run command here and see some of the stuff that we have set our host name our secrets you see that there even the uh, ones that were not encrypted before I did service password encryption they are now encrypted okay now it mentions saving this so we're gonna save the configuration file to NVRAM okay we're gonna back this up basically to a separate option so you can do copy run start that stands for copy our running configuration to our startup configuration okay that is an option there you see we get hundred percent or 80 out of 80 for this lab you can also do copy run or sorry copy start once you do that copy our startup configuration and then flash that will save and you just press enter for the destination file name okay and it will copy it to flash this could be for external uh, storage or anything like that in case it were to become corrupt all right so again that gives you 80 out of 80 and you can see all the commands that we used to do for or that we have done this semester for switches we can also do on a router